do I use Blackboard Collaborate for stu students to do group work? Um, you could go to your Blackboard course, and then I think the easiest thing is to have a button for them to go to their group work. So you could go here to plus content area, name it, and I had named it group study, check to make it available to users, and then submit it. Okay, I'm going to hit cancel because I do already have the button. So you'd click on your button then, and then you're going to go to tools and go to Blackboard Collaborate. And then you could go to create a session, and you're going to name it. Sabina and Joan. And you can't use the and sign, the slash. A lot of the punctuation marks, um, you know, interfere with the HTML that's in, in Blackboard. So you can't use those in naming the title. So you could go down here. You want to set the date in the future. Um, so they'll be able to get in. And then you can go here and set it for the whole semester so that they can reuse this space. So we'll make it May 22nd, and then we can go down here. Um, max simultaneous talkers. If you know there are like five people in the group, you might want to just go ahead and do that. Um, you could go down here and do all permissions, and then you can go down here. You'll see submit, but don't submit yet. You need to fill in all four areas here first. So next would be participation. Very important check on moderators can restrict ac access to the session and assign roles. So then you click on the people. So I said I'm putting Sabina in this. So click on Sabina. Move her over to the moderator. And I'm already there. Um, so you want to make them the moderators. And it'll be their group only. Okay. So then sharing. We really don't have anything we have to share of right now. Content area. You want to put the name of the group. And then you want to go here and you want to click and s put it in the group study content area. All right, now we're ready. Oh, one more thing, sorry. Click here and also put that date, you know, have it use the same dates you used in the first part. And then now we can submit it and create this. All right, so students will be able to record it. They will be able to application share. So they can go over to the group study button or that's where they'll go in anyway. And there's their session. So they can record, app share, they can use the, the multimedia library and send documents. They can, um, with app share, they could open up their desktop and have like uh, PowerPoint open and they could work on a PowerPoint presentation they have to do for their class. Various things. Big thing is they can talk to one another. They don't have to drive somewhere and meet. Um, there is a talk button. You always want to remind them that they need to use that. Um, now, if they do record it, they have to get in touch with you, the instructor, to make that available. So you would go back to, you would click here, um, you would be in the content area. Then you could go to Blackboard Collaborate. Again, you would click on Recordings you would find their recording and what you could do is go down here and edit it to change the title so you know you can leave everything but just put archive at the end of it and maybe the date um, and then you want to put it in the content area so they will be able to access it they can't get behind the scenes um, into the tools area and get to recording so you would have to make it available to them um, but they don't, you know, maybe they won't necessarily record that kind of thing. All right, so that's it for now. Thanks.